G'day everybody, me again. Uh, the old fella dug his little smart car out of its little hidey hole in there. Um, it's a nice looking little car, drives well. It's only got 12 or 14,000 k's on it. But uh, it had a slight incident once um, involving a bus. And uh, you probably wonder why I'm only showing this side at this stage. Um, yeah, there's a bloody great, great graping hole on the other side. Now that's where the driver's door used to be. Um, Dad was parked in the city. He uh, went to get out of the car. And uh, there's a little bit of speculation. It's a combination of him not looking and uh, the bus being a little bit too wide for the lane it was in. But bus hit the driver's door and uh, smashed it. Um, the doors are made of plastic and, uh, and aluminium. So it just, it just exploded basically. Very luckily there was no damage done to the hinge. No damage done anywhere else. I think it got a little bit of a scratch. Yeah, a little bit of a scratch down there from when the door exploded. Maybe a little bit there. But apart from that, no real, you know, no, no real uh, over the top damage. Now I've got to try and remember how this fucking little shit works. Oh, it is a fucking little shit, as you can see. So the uh, automatic gearbox, well, a, 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 an automated manual, I should say. Um, does the trick though. I think that's the boot. Yep. It's the boot for sure. Yep. Yeah, see that's that's kind of what your door is made out of, bits like that. Anyway, let's see if I can uh, dig our way down here. Made by Mercedes Benz. Uh, the cars themselves aren't made by Mercedes, I don't think. They're made by Smart, it's a French company. But uh, I could be wrong now, actually. I'll have to check that. I'm pretty sure they're French. Of course, that's not going to go back together easily now, is it? Oh, no, that's exactly the ones on top. Yeah, that should be holding that little, little shit into place. Now being a little turbocharged car, neither me or the old man could have resisted it. So one of us was going to end up buying it when it went up for sale. As you can see, she's in a bit of a state. Really dirty, mucky. The aircon needs a good run. So just a single brake pedal. I mean, it's not a double wide like an auto. Little mags. Mags are much wider on the back, or sort of set of tires are much wider on the back than the front same physical diameter. <sighs> See if oh, we're about to run out of fuel. That would suck. Uh, I'll put the aircon on just to make sure the fucking thing still works. It hasn't been running months. It's so bad. So very bad. Oh, the aircon is still good. Excellent. Excellent. I won't stop that just in case. But, uh... You can sort of hear the turbo very, very... It makes little like Tweety Bird noises. Yeah, that aircon works bloody good. A little bit too good in fact, maybe. Yeah, a little bit too good. Just turn that off. Uh, radio's asking for its code. I wrote that down on the radio itself. It's easy enough to just chuck a couple of pins in to pull it out. Um, electronic stability program, you can turn it off. Of course, it gives you a bloody dirty great warning. And you do so. Little sunroof, I won't open it at the moment, there's too much shit in the tracks. 
Uh, you got your power windows, obviously nothing on the driver's side, but yeah, passenger side still works. Um, funny thing about them is the gearbox so it is an automated manual so they do drive a little funny isn't it funny to see a car with no door <laughs> but uh, to put it into auto mode you just chuck it over like that with your foot on the brake comes up with number one on the screen there we go A for auto now it's actually much nicer to drive in the manual mode because in auto mode it seems to just flare a lot and uh, yeah, here we go brakes off Oh, the discs are noisy. Very noisy. Yeah. You'll hear it change is kind of like a change is kind of like a, a, a manual, but it's an auto. You know, so a little bit funny the way it works. We'll grab the mics and show you what it might. still running very well. I was worried that after sitting around for so long it would uh, it'd be a bit shit but everything still seems to be good except for the brakes. I need a bit of wearing in. No fucking horn. No horn. Huh. Oh man these Oh, that clutch is a little bit... yeah. Oh well, we'll give her a bit of a wash and a bit of a love and then... Hmm, see how we go. Alrighty, got my seatbelt on. Going to uh, show you guys how the automatic mode works. And it will kick out sideways if you get a bit of stick. It's, uh, it's really tail happy. Like such, sideways in second on the grass. <laughs> yeah, I better not do that too much. If I get caught, I'll get killed. Oh, well, she's had her little run now. Bit of a windscreen clean, bit of a wash. Warm up, lubricate everything, get the brakes working again. Well, they work, you know, but they just get... They get shitty when they sit around. They get all the crap all over the discs. Seems to be car and truck video week at the moment, doesn't it? Yeah. by wire, drive by fucking wire, clutch by fucking computer. I wish they put a real manual in these things. It would have been so much better with a real manual. So much better. Mm, judging the distance to the front. Listen to the gearbox. That clicking here afterwards is the gear is engaging. 
I decided to pop it in reverse, but it's now in reverse. Key off. All good. Yeah, 14,864 kilometers and unfreaking drivable. It's a shame, really, but I hmm, hope you guys enjoyed that. I just had a bit of fun. I had a lot of fun. In fact, if I had this thing on the road, well, if the old man had it on the road, and of course he'd let me drive it, he knows I can drive. Um, yeah, I'd probably end up getting in trouble. In fact, the thing would probably end up getting confiscated. <laughs> no, not quite that bad. But, uh, yeah, I'd love to throw it around on the grass one night when nobody's home. Keep it a secret. Thanks for watching.